We did some here, we did like you did three or four different things, right? So what did you what what did you learn? What did you feel? What like what was different about those? Obviously I'm doing fungo, I'm doing this, right? But like what was what was it telling you about your swing? All of it, right? So I went yeah. T, then I went front, or yeah, just start with the toss, right? Yeah, the T was smooth. I mm -hmm. felt real consistent on it. Okay. I felt like I was trying to rush it on the fungo. Okay. That's why I would get on top or under, because I was kind of like. Okay. Being Good. So what? What was the biggest difference? I love that. What was the different biggest difference from this to this? This one, it's uh, toss and then just go straight back mm -hmm. and then easy low. Where this okay. one. You're kind of having to get the bat out the way. Okay. So you could toss up and then go back. Okay. So, so did you feel more rushed on that one? Yeah. Because of that? I felt okay. more rushed because I had to toss it up and then, and then get, get set. So okay. I had to do a load and go. Okay. So then what about the bounce as opposed to the drop? The drop, I felt more rushed because I was trying to catch it out. Yeah. Where the drop, you kind of have a little bit of time to read it because you can see where the bounce will be. Where mm -hmm. the drop, you're just having to guess. Well, I mean, there's still stuff. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But you're kind of the, like pick a spot and like do math basically while it's dropping to get there. I like that. Okay, so which one of those like, which one of those kind of told you where your swing was most, like right now? Uh, do you feel rushed or do you feel like that was just the challenge of the front the arm? Challenge. I think you're right. Yeah, I think that was just the challenge of me trying to. Gale, mm -hmm. That's fair. Okay, so it's rush. not it's not rush. We're not worried about the rush part. Okay. Yeah. What else? What's well, something that kind of stuck out? It was only 16 balls, right? So but I got under them a few. Okay. I mean, I, I think I would swing them more down okay. instead of mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. So I was going like that, okay. trying to just get to the ball. Yeah, yeah. I, I was kind of going either boom yeah. or I would just go back and swing. Okay. It. That's really good. So what does that tell you when you get when you get down into the nitty gritty, right? Of having to react and having to go. What is your what is your default? To explain. Mm -hmm. oh. well, yeah, well, your default, right? You were saying was that I was feeling like I was just I was yeah. going like that, right? As opposed to you said more doing this instead of staying level. Does that make sense? Okay. So that tells us that our that kind of the default is what maybe something we need to. Yeah hit on a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? Okay. So now as we go back here, let's just kind of be aware of that. The biggest thing about training is we got to like find what we actually do in the game. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? Because like our practice swing and our game swing a lot of times are different. Yeah. Ideally we want that to be, close yeah, like super close. Okay. So if our default is this, so when I get into a, when I get into, oh shit, yeah. I go to Ooh. there. Right, we all have that, right? But we want to have enough trust in what we're doing and how our, what our movements are yeah. to be able to do it. Just and exactly right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. 